Have you ever had a worst game shopping experience? What did you do? Now we are all nerds here. We all love gaming, we all love playing video games, and it's always really nice whenever we find a great game store that catches our eyes. And most of them that I've been to have been excellent when it comes to great customer service. Mainly the mom and pop game stores. There's always that one. And this is my worst game shopping experience. Back in 2012 or 2013, somewhere in there, when my nephew, one of my oldest nephews was you know, just such a little kid. My gosh, that's making me feel old. Anyways, so I decided to, you know, take him out for a little, you know, uncle and nephew bonding time. And I felt like buying him a little something, and what he wanted was a video game. And at the time, he was really into that game called Plants vs. Zombies. Now, we all can agree, it's always fantastic whenever you can just simply play a video game. It's always so great when you could just buy a game and just take it home and take the disc out and simply put it into your game console and play it without any issues whatsoever. But for some freaking reason, whenever it comes to game companies that create a lot of these games, they always feel the need for some freaking reason to dump on the consumer. So I went to Best Buy and a couple of stops like that, but they didn't really have it for some reason. Maybe it was just a popular game at the time. I don't remember. But um, yeah, so I went to a GameStop that was the only store that had it, but I didn't read the back of the box, okay? It was clearly a game that was intended for kids from what I remember. And at that point, I was so used to games being optional when it comes to playing online or, you know, simply playing in single player mode. Well, I bought this game for my nephew. We went back to my parents' house back when I lived with them and Long behold, it was online play only. And I'll tell you something, I was so upset. And not only was was I pretty mad about the whole entire thing, ma mainly for myself because I didn't read the back of the box, but you know, the, here's one of the things that drives me crazy about a lot of video games is for a lot of them, the text is really, really, really tiny. And I, I don't understand why they can't make the text just a little bit bigger. I mean. Come on, especially when it comes to details about that. So, not only was I upset about the whole situation, but it really broke my heart also to see how disappointed my nephew was. So, we both got in the car, we were taking the game back, and I was like, okay, well, you know, we'll, you know, we'll just trade it for another game, or, you know, or I'll ask for, for a refund. So, you know, obviously I'm not going to ask for a refund because I want him to be, be able to get something, so... We go into the shop, we go into GameStop, and, you know, so we take the game up there to the freaking counter, and I was like, listen, I didn't realize that this was online play only. Is there any way that I could just trade this? And and the guy just looks at me like I'm a freaking moron. And he goes, I, I don't know what his deal was, but whatever it was, it was no excuse for him to treat us the way that he treated us. And, man... He just goes, well, didn't you pay attention, man? I mean, very, very disrespectful. I just, from the get-go. I mean, just unbelievable. And I go, well, no, not really, because most games, you know, aren't only online play. And he goes, well, what you need to get with the times, man? You know, why didn't you read the back of the box? I go, again, most games don't do this. Okay, it's optional. It's either single player or online play. The guy goes, "Well, I don't know what else to tell you, sir. That, yeah, you know, there's nothing that we could do about it. Okay, you're, you know, you're gonna have to just keep this." And I'm like, "No. Okay, if I can't play this, okay, I don't want to keep it. Okay, so we're gonna have to work something out here." And the guy goes, "Like, look, listen, you screwed up. 
it's not my it's not my problem okay and this is where i had to get strict with him he goes he leans over to my nephew he, he goes all right get a little man that's not my problem not my problem and i immediately really get strict with him and i go wait listen to me man you're talking to me here you're not talking to my nephew okay don't you dare talk to my nephew like that for a single second i am not going to put up with this crap and luckily <laughs> luckily as i was saying this to him <laughs> the supervisor just happened to be walking in and he hears me saying all this and he goes he goes whoa, 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 whoa wait wait what's going on here and <laughs> oh my gosh so i tell him the whole situation and luckily he was on my side and we all know that GameStop could be the freaking devil and we all could agree that's always a blessing to have witnesses because not only was my nephew a witness but there was plenty of people in the store that were seeing this whole entire thing go down they took my side big time they made it clear to the manager what happened and you know he was on my side and he let my nephew take a look around for whatever game he wanted to play that that you know has the options of playing either online or single player or two player and he found one that he wanted it worked out we were able to walk out and boy i'll tell you i'm not sure if he let this employee go or not but man was it a glorious moment and i go thank you very much and i look the guy in the eye i go <laughs> see what happens when you mess with the metal head we walk out and that was that <laughs> so that's my worst game shopping experience and also kind of my best shopping experience ever and again we all can agree that gamestop is the freaking devil for reasons i don't even have to explain i mean it's been talked about all over youtube we've all experienced it just going to the game store alone when it comes to gamestop so i really don't need to make it clear why they're pieces of crap but uh that was really the only time that GameStop was really cool. Well, well, at least the manager in this case. So, there you go. Anyways, I just thought I'd talk about this because... <laughs> you know, I just don't see it talked about very often, you know, when it comes to, you know, our worst game shopping experiences. So, you know, leave comments down below. What has been your worst game shopping experience? Huh? Come on. Share with me, share with me, share with me, share with me. Come on. Anyways, this has been Metalvania. Keep it metal, baby. <laughs>